Welcome back to Geometry is Easy. Last time I posted a few questions you were solving for a leg of the right triangle and not the hypotenuse. You can check the, the blog and see how you did. This time I want to talk a little bit about simplifying and using a calculator. Let's say that you were given a problem like this. Let's call one leg is 12 units and the other leg is 16 units. And we are solving for the hypotenuse this time, which is a little easier. We're solving for C. Remember our formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. However, we've got some big numbers here. So let's try these big numbers, but let's figure out how to use our calculator. Most of us know that 12 times 12 is 144. So we know that a squared would be 144, but most of us don't memorize our 16 times tables. So let's use our calculator. In a basic calculator, you turn on your calculator and make sure it's cleared and there's nothing in there. In a basic calculator, you'll have some very basic buttons, like this x squared button, that's the square button. So if I want to find 16 squared in my very basic calculator, I'll type in 16 x squared is squared equals, and I've got an answer, 256. The calculator did that for me. If I didn't want to use the square button, I'll clear that out and I would just go 16 times 16. That's the same thing as 16 squared. You still get 256. Let's keep solving our problem. So now we have 144 plus 256 equals c squared. I will plug these numbers into my calculator. 144 plus 256 equals 400. Hmm. Off the top of my head, I don't know what the square root of 400 is. Let's use our calculator again. I'll show you how to use a very basic calculator for this. We need to solve for c squared is 400, but we want to find out what c is without being c squared. So we'll clear that one out. Make sure we've got a cleared out calculator. We want the square root of 400. On this calculator, there's a little tiny blue square root on top of this x squared button. If it's blue above the x squared on the calculator, I need to make sure I punch my second button up here, and then I can use my x squared button. So I want the square root of 400. So I'm going to punch second x squared because above that is square root of 400 equals, well, it says the square root of 400 is 20. Let's try that one more time. It takes a minute. Okay, I want the square root of 400. Second button, square root of 400 equals, and I got 20 for an answer. Back to my problem. Let's solve this problem square root of 400 is 20 equals C.